We're obviously on site here at the Wally Range Cricket Club, um, which we have converted into a temporary health facility to deliver uh, the COVID vaccination um, service. We've taken over the clubhouse here at the Cricket Club um, and we basically converted it um, into an area where we have a, a reception area and we have four vaccination pods plus a, um, a DDA compliant pod uh, in the sense of the wheelchair access. It's not just the fact that it's, um, you know, community pharmacy and, and, and doing the vaccine. This is my community. Uh, I'm born and bred here. So it was really important. If I could, if I, you know, had the chance to be able to do this, then I was going to do it. The first patient I personally vaccinated yesterday was my own father. Um, so he actually lives, um, you know, only 200 yards away from this vaccination centre around the corner from where I live. Um, and he's, he's been shielding for most of the year. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's 18 in June. Um, he hardly gets to see his grandkids, um, you know, and he's, he'll be the first to admit that, he, you know, that's all he lives for now is, is, is time with his grandkids. So if it, it, was a, it was a special moment yesterday. It was quite emotional because I've, I've hardly got to see him, even though he only lives six doors away. I've hardly got to see him all year. Um, but to be able to, to give him that vaccine and, and to see the, the, the hope within him, um, it, was, it was really, honestly, it was overwhelming yesterday because he now, obviously, we had to calm him down a little bit because he... <laughs> Uh, that there's still a long way to go, but for him, he feels that we're we're on the right path and uh, we're able to 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 overcome um, the 12 months that we've all had.